Hello and welcome to another daily devotion. As this week we talk week two of Bible, not Bible. Last week we talked about things that people associate with being in the Bible that aren't actually in there. This week we're talking about scriptural texts that are in the Bible and we read them and say, did God really say that? Let me read that again. Is that really what God means? So today we'll talk about a lighthearted topic, slavery. I would say that if you talk to anybody in just about any denomination, Southern Baptist, Pentecostal, Seventh-day Adventist, UCC, Methodist, Roman Catholic, Orthodox, you get the picture. They would say that it is morally and ethically wrong and not aligned with Christ to own and enslave another human being. Yet in both Old and New Testament, there are rules for the treatment of slaves. Whether Who can be your slaves? And to be fair, in the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, it says, don't own any fellow Israelites. Get your slaves from the other nations, whether you conquer them or you just find them. You know, you can enslave those folks, but don't slave any of your own, which we see at times Israel doesn't really follow. And in the New Testament, slaves love your masters, even if they're cruel, love your masters. And so there's nothing in any of the sayings of Jesus to say, you shouldn't own any slaves. Slaves were part of first century life. So what do we do with something that's scriptural? In fact, in the American South, those who were opposing abolition pointed to the Bible and said, hey, it's right here. We can own slaves as part of our economic system. We're on the side of scripture. You abolitionists are just making stuff up. So what do you do when something's in the Bible but through those who read the Bible, again, because we don't worship Scripture, right? The Bible informs us of people's relationship to God, each person's inspired by the Holy Spirit, and different interactions with God that they have shared with us through generations. Both the canon has been chosen by people and how it is read. And so as people today, as community, we would also say, I think to a person, we're not going to go owning any Canadians, for example, taking people from other countries. Well, they're our border. I mean, I want to go get an Ontarian for a slave or somebody from Yellowknife. Well, does the Bible say I can do it? Technically, it's in there. Would Jesus say I should own another person? In a day and age, even in modern times, when over 26 million people are enslaved or part of human trafficking? Of course not. As Christians, we would oppose that kind of treatment of another human being, making them less than in the image of God. But it's in there. So this is one of those places where we ask if Bible is if the Bible is just literal and to take in as is black and white without interpretation of the body of Christ as to its meaning or how we live it out, we run into some very difficult waters. Slavery is one of those places where I'm sure Jesus wouldn't, if Jesus came back today, said, yeah, go ahead, enslave a Cuban, enslave a, a German. No, I don't think any of us would say that, but it's in there. Food for thought, this daily devotion.